Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. I am so excited to get this one out to you guys because like I've been mentioning in my last couple of videos, we've had some big changes happening in our life. And so I'm coming to you guys right now from, I don't know if I can show you all this from here because I don't know how to flip my camera around when I'm recording, but the title company, if y'all can see that, if not, I'll cut that out. I am at the title company and we are closing on our house today. So I never in my wildest dreams thought that <clears throat> I would move back to my hometown, but here I am buying a house one mile from my parents. Um, and I could not be more excited y'all. I'm finally gonna have the kitchen space that I have been dreaming about. My dogs have a huge backyard to run around in, which ever since the day I got them, I've lived in one bedroom apartments. Um, and then on top of that, one bedroom apartments with my spouse. And so I am so excited to finally have a backyard for them to run around in and have their freedom in. Um, and no carpet in the house, which I am thrilled about because I hate carpet. Um, especially after moving out of our apartment and seeing the carpet after we took the bed out, it was absolutely filthy and it made me just feel gross. So anyways, I am here to sign our closing documents today. Um, Nate's not with me, unfortunately, because he is a training um, as an airline pilot. I am so proud of him. He is doing so well in his training and I just, I'm so excited. There's so many great things happening right now. So I'm gonna go in, I'm POA, so I am signing all the paperwork. It is so weird doing this on my own. Like, I feel like I'm still a teenager sometimes, and so doing big things like this. Um, we made our first big purchase together, really, when we got this car for me after my wreck. So, we bought this car, like, two months ago, I think, and now we're buying a house together, and I am so thrilled. So, um, yeah, I'll let y'all know how it goes, and I'll come back when I have keys, and then I will keep y'all updated this week. I am still on prep. We are eight weeks out, and I am looking phenomenal, so I might for my free meal. So I got, when I went on our cruise back in February, I won a bottle of champagne and I'm thinking for my free meal, I wanna do a little toast with my family, just like a little cheers as being a new homeowner. Um, so we'll see, I'll keep y'all updated on that, but follow along. Hello guys and happy Thanksgiving. I'm sure once this comes out, it will be past Thanksgiving, but I hope you all enjoyed your Thanksgiving with your family um, and friends and other loved ones um, but I just wanted to come on real quick and share a couple things with y'all so it's like 8 49 right now and I'm just getting back from the gym so normally I'm just getting to the gym right now but I woke up super early for no reason this morning um, so I decided to train faster this morning which I rarely ever do because um, normally I wake up starving and I'm like I need to eat something before I go train um, but I wasn't super hungry this morning and it was early and we're not eating lunch until like 1 o'clock today probably later and I normally eat like 11 between 11 30 and 12 30 so I figured I'd just hold off on breakfast a little bit longer and um go get my training done so I did that and I'm about to go walk my dogs a little bit because unfortunately they're going to be locked up a little bit today because my grandparents are going to be here and just a lot of people and we don't want anyone tripping falling whatever um, so I'm gonna go walk them get a little energy out before it starts raining because the weather is absolutely disgusting today yesterday was literally perfect it was like 70 degrees and sunny and just absolutely beautiful and today it is like quarter mile visibility and raining and gross and whatever but I'm just grateful to be here today and be with my family I am on call today. Um, I'm kind of hoping not to get called out because obviously I want to spend the time with my family. Um, but if I do, I'm also grateful to be a part of the medical team and be able to help um, bring life to other people, honestly. So anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of things because um, since I've been staying at home, one of the things I've been struggling with is comments from family members that, um, usually are made in good nature, but they can be kind of, I don't want to say harmful, but um, they can be difficult sometimes because even though they're with good intentions, um, a lot of times, especially when it comes to body and eating, those comments just aren't necessary. Um, and so my mom has been making a lot of comments about like how thin I am and how skinny I've gotten. And again, like it's great to hear sometimes, although I'd rather hear like, wow, you look so strong or your muscles look so defined rather than 
you know, you look thin or like if you lose any more weight, you're going to blow away in the wind. Um, and then other comments from family members about eating like, oh, she doesn't eat stuff like that and whatnot. It just gets frustrating sometimes and I don't think they're necessary. And so I just want to remind people that especially during the holidays when we're around a lot of family that we haven't seen in a lot of time uh, in a long time that just be mindful of the comments you're making to people because you don't know what those people have been going through and some of the stuff that people go through like even if it's a good comment like oh you've lost so much weight you don't know what someone went through to get there so you know they could be struggling with an eating disorder or a medical issue or any other kind of psychological psychological issue um, so just be mindful of those things when you are um, discussing like body and food and stuff with people um, so on that topic again um, when I talked to my coach Sunday for check-ins I had requested a refeed because my weight has just been dropping rapidly and I've been hungry and my sleep hasn't been great and so I requested a refeed which literally I was like I just, I just want some extra carbs um but she actually gave me a um free meal today on Thanksgiving which one thing I'm super excited about is since um I've taken this season this I took a long improvement season and I was able to work with Celeste and work on my relationship with food um I feel comfortable taking a free meal today even though I'm on prep um but I'm struggling a little bit because I just don't know if I want to. Um, so I'll keep y'all posted on that. I think even if I do have a like free meal, I might, you know, have like turkey and fruit salad and just like keep it simple. Um, but enjoy something that's not my normal. I do macros. I don't do a meal plan, but I kind of make my own meal plan to fit my macros. Um, so we will see. I'll probably... Um, so I don't, when I have a free meal, I don't like restrict myself earlier in the day um, to like make up for that because that kind of defeats the purpose. So I'm gonna eat like my normal breakfast. I'll probably actually add a little bit of protein. So add an extra egg white or two um, just to keep me a little bit fuller and to make up for the protein because I still wanna make sure I hit my protein goal today. Um, and then yeah, I'll probably have a little bite of dessert because I got a sweet tooth. Um, but most importantly, I'm just going to enjoy the time with my family. Um, I'm excited. As I said earlier in the video, we closed on our house on Tuesday. So I finally have keys. I went over there yesterday and was just kind of cleaning a little bit and started my Black Friday shopping because we do need a washer, dryer, and refrigerator. Um, and this is the perfect time to buy because there are so many good deals. I'm just trying to find the best deal. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Um, I finally had a Oh, I'm so excited to finally have just like a permanent living situation because my whole life since I've been living on my own I've always been like in apartments and I was travel nursing for a while so everything was super temporary and I never got to like really or I won't say I never got to because I could have but I just never felt the need to like decorate and like really nicely furnish things so it's exciting to have our home now where my husband and I can like put our touch on things and have things that are ours um so I'm super excited about that um and just can't wait for all the memories that we're gonna make and we only live a mile from my parents and like 10 minutes from one of my best friends and just down the road from my grandparents and feel fine if you're watching we're like five minutes from HEV because I know you were asking um, and I just can't wait to have people over and yeah, I'm super excited. So I hope you all enjoyed your holiday and I will chat with y'all later, um, probably for check-ins on Sunday. Don't mind me, I look like a wet dog right now. I don't know what's going on here. I just finished an hour on the stairs, which I don't actually have to do an hour, but I've gotten a little bit behind on my cardio because of my work schedule last couple weeks and so I was like you know what I'll just do two sessions and one today start the week strong that way hopefully I don't get behind and my husband uh surprised me with new airpods um which I've never had before and they are freaking amazing so that helped me get through my cardio and then I just wanted to show y'all I have been doing this total body enhancement like red light therapy thing for like a week now after my workouts it's actually helping a lot with my soreness so that's been really cool
All right, YouTube, today is Sunday, which means it's check-in day. And I just wanted to come on and give y'all some updates from the week. My dog is back here freaking out because my parents are outside and he's got like the worst separation anxiety. So he's like whining and running from window to window watching them outside, it's so cute. But anyways, I just wanted to give y'all some updates from my check-ins this morning and from the week um, and show y'all a little bit of how my meal prep is going for this week. So, here we go. All right, so starting with my meal prep, I am doing it in Ziploc bags this week because I'm at my parents' house and I'm trying not to use up all of their fridge space and I'm making like 12 meals today. So I'm prepping in bags instead of my normal Tupperware. Um, also, I can't take a lot with me when I travel for work and so it's so much easier to take them in like these little baggies instead of with my Tupperware um, to save space for me. So. I ordered mega fit meals a couple weeks ago and absolutely loved them. And I had ordered the like long grain wild rice, which I haven't had wild rice in forever. I forgot how much I loved it. So I'm lazy and bought these little microwave ones, but I got this whole grain medley that has, um, brown rice with quinoa, but it tastes like wild rice. Um, so I'm just measuring that out into the bags and then I cooked, roasted some zucchini and some ground chicken. So... I'm gonna put all of that in these bags and put it in the fridge so they are ready to go. So I've just been eating, this is the same food I've been eating for weeks now and I just like put it on a bed of lettuce. I had been doing butter lettuce but our HEB has been out of it so I've just been doing shredded lettuce and then I add a little bit of avocado and some liquid aminos on top and that has been my meals for lunch, dinner, and one snack. Um, so three times a day. And then for breakfast, I'm still doing oats with blueberries and egg whites and then um my nightcap has been cottage cheese with peaches and cinnamon oh my gosh it is so good and since it's a casein protein and i'm eating it pretty close to dinner so i'm eating a lot of food right at the end of the night it's helping me sleep so much better and like not wake up starving in the middle of the night because that's something i was struggling with um a couple of weeks ago but anyways check-ins were awesome as always this morning i have been feeling kind of down um just like i didn't do as good this week but I must say, I'm really proud of myself because this is the first time that I've trusted myself at a holiday um, with an untracked meal in a long time. And so I got my untracked meal and I just had, you know, I prioritized my turkey breast. I got the white meat um, and some vegetables. There was like green beans and fruit salad. And then I just had a couple bites of like some of the other things because I wanted to taste them. They're super tasty. Um, and I just enjoyed it. And my stomach didn't love it. Um, even though I didn't overdo it and eat a super lot, my stomach's just not used to all that. So didn't agree with my stomach too much. Um, and I felt kind of sluggish the next day, which just helped me to get right back on track afterwards. And yeah, that's just kind of where I am with that. Uh, Check-ins were awesome. Like I said earlier, my body's still responding super well. My weight didn't drop as much this week. It dropped about half a pound, whereas it has been dropping anywhere from like a pound and a half to two and a half pounds a week. Um, I've dropped a lot over this last month. So it didn't drop as much, but keeping everything the same. So six days a week of 30 minutes of cardio and macros are staying the same and just kind of see how we go. Um, I'm seven weeks out now. <laughs> Could not be more excited. And yeah. And then my husband will finally be home this Friday and we're going to get to move into our house. So I'm just taking care of like getting the appliances and um, doing some cleaning and stuff before he gets here and before we move everything in. And then I just I can't wait to be moved into our new home. So I will keep you guys updated. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked it. I will see y'all next time.